What's up guys and welcome back, we're here with another part of our Thrones of Britannia campaign playing as Wessiax or Wessex as it's more commonly known and in the last episode we took uh, Northampton and we had a huge battle here um, which we won decisively against, uh, well I've forgotten which faction it is, I think it's Stellenborg or whatever they were called, it's one of the Vikings anyway, we've defeated one of the Viking factions and uh, yeah so thank you all for the support on the last episode, uh, very much appreciated. Keep up with the comments, likes, and subscribes. We finally hit 1,000 subscribers. Well, I just can't thank you guys enough for hitting this milestone. Um, but yeah, so we, we've done it. We've hit that 1K. And now we can push on from here and uh, see how far we can get. And yeah, just can't do this without you guys. I uh, appreciate all the support so much. And keep it up. So um, anyway, we'll get straight into the uh, into the campaign, and we'll end the turn because I think we did everything we wanted to do last turn. Um, I think the plan is in this episode to take this small little uh, someone here. If it's not taken by one of these factions, then we're going to go down south and finish off these couple of summons, and maybe move up here. Take Stianford. Nope, there you go, Ligeris. Oh no, wait a minute. We're enemies to these guys. All right, yeah, we can take out these guys. Um, that's an 18 stack, so we may need to worry about that. Um, I will probably send the smaller army off to go and just take out unoccupied settlements. While we, um, use the other one, probably just to watch our back from this huge 18 stack. I mean, it's a bit knocked up if that yellow thing means what it does mean. I'm pretty sure it does mean, like, pretty damage, but we'll see. But anyway, the vice, the Weissing have been destroyed. Pretty sure they're supposed to, and Derby have been destroyed, and because I'm pretty sure the Vicing is supposed to be like the, um, if we go into diplomacy, it's supposed to be like the Viking invaders, and they came down here, and basically they got knocked out. So that's cool. Got rid of them. Uh, we've got more technology. Um, we will probably go with, um, we'll go with offensive because we're I'm pretty offensive player. I like to play offensively anyway. Don't like to sit back and just do whatever. Um, this is the larger 15 stack. We could actually send this in to go and then defend against... Yeah, we'll do that actually. We'll send the 15 in here. And we just occupy this. That's fine. Shut up, lover. Yeah, thank you for telling me that we can assign stuff to other people. But I don't want to. Royal Thanes. Ooh. Yes. Give me, give me, give me Royal Thanes. It's going to hurt the economy a little bit, but you know, I'm not too fussed. And then we'll move down here with this army and start besieging this out. Baden Ford. Oh, we can just occupy. What? There's no garrison? I guess it's the smaller settlement, but okay, there we go. We're just taking that settlement. A bit easy. Uh, let's assign a governor. Um, let's put you as the governor. Does that work? Does that work? Um, you become governor of... Yes, there we go. Thank you, there you go. Whoever that chap is. Has he got... He's got okay loyalty. He's not great, but he's not awful. Um, we've got low loyalty actually. Wolf Sig. Uh, this chap here. Not great loyalty. Let's improve the secure your loyalty. That'll cost something. Um, privately thank him. There we go. And he is got to be raising a small army as well. We'll stick down here. We'll just put in some pretty crap Searle infantry or Searle spears. There we go. They are going to be used to take out this rebel settlement that's basically being made. Looks like he is he in it? Is he in the settlement? I think he is. So we'll uh, go and deal with that. Even though it looks like our um, looks like actually our uh, vassal might deal with it, so we may not have to. But it's handy having a small army down here anyway, just in case we need to have we have any problems and need sorting out. English courage, I like that name. I like that name. So we'll keep that. Um, so yes, the resolute wall uh, done its job, and we can just move on to the next element. I presume this is a capital. No, that's not a capital. This is the capital. So this has a garrison. Um, so we'll have to uh, besiege that at some point. Um, so we'll end the turn, and we'll see what happens. I have a feeling this 18 stack may come for us. If it does, that's fine. We can deal with it. We have some Royal Thanes now. 
some pretty they're pretty dumb elite. But I don't know, we'll see. I think uh, our vassal just retook that uh, city because our income just went up. And yeah, there we go, we're defending in a battle. I think we can win this. Our Royal Thanes aren't as uh, trained as I'd like them to be, but that's not the end of the world. So uh, what's our cavalry like? Scout Horseman, Scout Horseman, Scout Horseman, Thane Horseman. Hmm. They have a lot of cell spears. Do we have more archers? We have ever so slightly more archers because that's a bit more healthy. Yeah, I think we can win this. Uh, we'll manly fight this one. Thank you. So I'll see you guys on the battlefield in a minute. Okay, so we're back on the battlefield and uh, well, it's not in a it's not in a village, which I was kind of expecting. Um, but we can live with this. We can work with uh, this. I'm sure. It's a pretty beat-up army, but we will hold the line. I'm going to have to put these long axemen in the front line. Um, we'll put our archers... Well, we'll put them out front in a minute. Uh, actually, yeah, just... Yeah, let's just put everything like so. Like that. Archers. Like that. Um, you saw like that. That'll do. What are this on this? The Royal Thanes are on this side. We'll put Alfred... I should put the soul spears here. Soul spears sort of like off on an angle. It's protecting our flanks from these calves which are around and about. And then we'll put our cav. I'll put them in the forest for now and Alfred can go just... Well, he's kind of good where he is. So there we go. We'll do that. I don't really care about that. We will wait for them to come in and attack us and we'll see what happens. We should be able to beat... They've got a lot of Soul Spears, which is why I'm not too fussed about this. They've got some Javis as well. They do have some Thanes... Um, some Thane Cav, which I saw in the loading screen, but they're pretty beaten up, so we may be okay. Um, I'd have liked to have my infantry a little bit more fresh, but... Um, apart from that, we're kind of okay. Like, they're just going to come charging at us wildly anyway. Just focus down these cut these guys. Um, yeah, keep focusing down these guys. Shoot my archers because that's what your job is. I could actually get my cavalry and probably charge in there. Actually, no, I can't. Just pull my back my cav. Yeah, sure he is under attack, but. Just gonna. Oh, okay, they sent their cavalry in to help here. Interesting decision. You. There we go, okay. Um, keep shooting all these guys. Who are you? What are you? Oh, your archers. Oh, dear. Alright. Get in there. That was a stupid move. Oh well, archers are not the end of the world. I don't care, go away, stupid man. Um, Royal Thanes, you go in there. Royal Thanes, go around here. Alfred, you're going to be needed here in the middle. Can we break that cav? Yes, we can. Perfect, perfect. Right, hold the line. Get in there, Thanes. Cavalry, get out here. Are we winning on this flank? We are, we are, we are winning. Alright, we broke their cav. We can surround all this stuff now. There we go. Surround all this stuff. And run these guys down, cavalry. Archers. We're going to lose like one unit of archers, I think, in the end, and that's going to be it. Can you not shoot all this stuff back here? That's not that hard, difficult to kill, I would have thought. Or long axe wouldn't go in there again. Um, go and kill all this. Very nice. Keep charging this down. Searle archers. Actually, you stay here. Who are you? These are all Javis. 
Yeah, keep killing these guys. Perfect, right. Let's just run these guys down. There we go. Excellent. That's an easy, nice little victory for us. We can just watch the end of this happen. We should be okay. The fools. Let's try and see some of those elite Thanes, if I can find them. Royal Thanes. Oh, yeah, they're sort of in there. You can sort of see them. I presume that's them there with the cool armor. Yeah, run these guys down as much as possible now. Uh, archers, hold your fire. There's just no need for you to. Hold, hold, hold. No need for you to be here. Oh, actually, wait a minute. You're here. Um, Cav? Yeah, we need to kill these this general unit. What's this? Oh, it's just the Warlord's Companions. Okay. It's not looking too bad. There you go. Broken everything. And there we go. The general's broken. They'll break in no time. The enemy general's dead. Even better. Keep cutting these guys down as much as possible. Um, just speed it up. And there we go. Kind of done. Don't even need to kill these guys, really. Just extra kills. There you go. End the battle. Nice little battle there. End that. See what happens. I mean, let's... Did we take many losses? Uh, 400 is not awful. I mean, this army is definitely going to have to just hold for, like, a turn or two. And just recoup all these losses. Like, these Thanes are, like, pretty being up. My infantry did get pretty nasty. And those archers... May or may not be alive. <laughs> um, oh, they are alive, but they're uh, pretty beaten up. We'll uh, take on warriors. And, uh, yeah, they have two units left. We actually probably could move on to the next uh, the next settlement, which I might do if I get a chance, because this army here is going to just start doing stuff and harassing. So it might be an idea to uh, strike, just attack this army, then move on to the next settlement. Take it up while they're uh, undefended. But we'll see, we'll see. Enemy general killed. Excellent. Faction destroyed. Murraborg. That's not what I was there for. Uh, pain would cause the ability to lose uh, loyalty. I'm sorry, but uh, I forgot about that mission. <laughs> Simple as. That's, uh, that's the problem that's happened there. Right, so I'll attack. I'll auto. Fire aggressive. Nice. Chop his head off. Yeah, yeah, we're chopping his head off. Very good. Um, if there's any warriors to take on, I'd like them. Get marching, men. Uh, cool. And just take the settlement for me. And uh, occupy. Thank you. Perfect. Right. So, I'm going to build this small manor farm. Um, and then I'm also going to... I guess I could move on to the resolute wall and take this settlement here. Yeah, occupy. Well, this is pretty easy. Just a bit of a blitzkrieging, really. Um, Bard, I'm going to not do that. I'd like... Is there one for loyalty? There is, but I know it's like there's a negative for your public order and faction allegiance. But I'll do it. There we go. Lo loyalty sorted. Um, any warriors for you to take on? Only cell spears. So they were pretty damn good in combat. I mean, they were pretty... They were pretty awful, I mean, as well. <laughs> I mean, they were pretty... They weren't the, They weren't awful, but they weren't great either. I mean, we've got a lot of food now. Look at the amount of food we have. Um, I will take on the, a cell spear. Actually, um, yeah, yeah, no, we will. We'll take on a cell spear. Um, that shouldn't be too bad. Yes, that other faction did take back their settlement. You can... You've got a... One of them. I'd like you just to get... Unit of replenishment. There you go. You can move to there. There we go. Uh, I don't think you could recruit anything. So we've got no problem there. If they're going to just keep putting down rebellions, that's fine. Um, risk of rebellion over here in the fens. I don't know how low it has to go, but I mean, we'll we'll sort this out. Could we destroy it? I don't think we could. May need to worry about that then. May need to put down any rebellion that raises up here. 
pretty soon. Um, skills available. Okay, right. So you are a governor. You can. Oh, what's that? In enemy province. Ugh, no, I don't want that. Um, income. We'll have a scribe. Leof Stan can have scribe as well. And Beatrix can have forager. There you go. Um, low public order. Yeah, I know we've got it in a few places, but they're not actually like doing any problems for having low public order at the moment. We'll sort this out when we get upgrades. Um, and we'll end the turn. And we'll see what happens. Whether we have any rebellions or we can just carry on the march. Nothing too bad yet by the looks of it, so we should be okay. We should be... we should survive. No rebellions. I, I don't know where we... I, I guess we go for East Engel next, after we uh, take out all these small factions. Vidge, Borg, Bri I know that's an island. Right, so, Viking Raids. A fleet of Nordman raiders has been arrived in the south of Britain. Where is that? Mission issued. Eldwin requests the following agriculture states and ag cause nobility loss. Well, I'm not sure if that's the end of the world. Okay, so there's a small raiding f party that's arrived. So this army may actually get some action. We'll move it to here for now. Um, I'm going to raise some troops. Oh, no, I don't care about that. Um, gonna raise some thanes and some archers and a. There you go. Some pretty okayish troops. That'll do for now. That'll keep you going, and they will probably arrive at the right time. Um, fifteen. I could actually besiege the other place, but I mean, I'd rather do that with this army. like a one and not much else so yeah it's probably best to do with this army so there we go we'll go down there this place is not going to be uh, it's not the place under threat from a rebellion so that's not the end of the world champion um plus one command um yeah sure do that there you go uh what else could we do i mean we could possibly push for this region 15 i don't know how beat up that is that's like pretty beer, but it's not awful. Um, let's do um, let's do a a butchers. We'll have a butchers going, I think, just because of the. Well, does it do more food income? Uh, no, but it does like a lot more in the case of money, which is what we kind of need at the moment. I mean, we don't need it, but like it's always handy to have. Um, and this place could actually siege down that, but I'm not really too fussed about sieging that down. Um, 700 left. We could probably build something else, I would have thought. I mean, maybe not. We maybe just be best uh, spending our money elsewhere. Like on more men. Ah, here, we can spend it on a... Uh, eh. Yeah, okay, I'll spend it on that. I'll spend money on getting a better garrison to defend that area. I mean, I don't think it's going to be ever under threat, though. That's just the difference. And we'll get some more cavalry, I guess. Well, not necessarily cavalry, but more stuff. Um, these Searle Axemen are pretty handy. Pretty good at holding the line. I'm very impressed with the Searle Spears, though. We can actually afford two. I'll get the one for now. Um, no, I'll get two. There you go. That's 12. That's a pretty good, decent spear army. That's probably as many we're going to need. Don't need much cav in this army. Um, whether I'm... I might just wait the one turn, try and get these guys uh, fairly well, like, healed up and then just, like, go in. I mean, this is probably the faction I'm going to go for next. Are they friendly with anyone? I'm probably going to go take out these guys before. Uh, Vassal Kingdom of East Engel. So, I mean, we might as well take them out at the same time that we take out um, East Engel. Um, no point sparing them. Hellingborg, not in any wars. 
And they are though. So these actually might be these guys might be actually a good target to go for next. And they're pretty well battered up. They've been in a lot of wars. Yeah, we might be best to go north. Um though it will leave us vulnerable to like lots of other um factions like uh Northumbria. Um and these guys. I mean we're already kind of vulnerable to these guys, but I mean easy expansion and um, to start with it looks like mercy's in a war with gwind is that true are you in a war with these guys they are wow they're in a war and they're losing so we may need to get involved in that actually i'm not too fussed about it but hey we'll end the turn and we'll just see what happens we've got plenty of money and food so we'll get we're gonna be fine And there we go. It looks like the Viking army is going to come across and attack us. That won't do. We'll attack them, I think. We'll certainly hold our ground. I might, I might raise a few more troops just to, like, see what happens. I mean, we'll see. I mean, we are coming close to the end of the episode, so I may just save that battle for the next episode. And there we go. The raiders are moving a long, long way. Okay, so they had declared war on me. I am going to... I'm tempted to move... Well, I want to move the whole way, I guess. How far can you move? Um, down here. It's whether what they go for really is the problem. I'm going to put a Great Hall in Winchester. Just because that's... Uh, well, now under threat. And also it's going to help with us. Um, your army, pretty beaten up. Wow, it is very beaten up, actually. I'm going to put you under siege. Your army suffers in the miserable conditions in which they find themselves. Yeah, put as many siege towers up. There you go. Shut up, lady. I don't need to know about your problems. Um, you can raise more troops. I'll put some Thane cavalry in. They're pretty damn elite. Pretty useful. And... Uh, eh. Some axes, maybe. There you go. Our income's taking a bit of a hit, but hey... Uh, we're now at 14, they're at 13. Yes, our army is very much more beaten up, possibly. Well, I say that. This is also not looking too fresh. Um, attrition, yep, yeah, that's a thing. That's not the end of the world. Skills available. Right, Wiglaf, you can... Is there one for campaign movement? Because if there is, I really need to get that one. Yeah, there it is. Campaign movement range. I definitely need Quartermaster for this chap. He needs to get across this like area really quickly. Um, right, and then you, technology can do, lots recruitment of third act, ooh, that'd be kind of handy. Yeah, let's do that, let's do train fighters, train fighters, I mean it's going to be more expensive now these guys, but, I imagine, but, we can afford them, we can afford all of them. But anyway guys, that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe, and until next time, Legionnaires, 